On a recent hunt, I realized that my 15 liter day pack is no longer going to be big enough. So I have upgraded to a Ridgeline 25 liter day pack. In this video, I'm going to do a gear drop. I'm going to transfer everything from the old pack to the new pack. I'm not going to do a review on the Ridgeline pack yet because I haven't used it. Once I've used it a few times, I might post a review. For now, we'll just transfer the gear from one bag to the other and I'll show you what I carry. A couple of things to remember, it's a day pack, it's not a multi-day hiking, hunting pack. And also when I hunt with this pack, it's only for a few hours, it's not a full day, and it's usually from a vehicle or from a campsite. So I don't have to carry things like food or, or cooking equipment or anything like that. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So as I mentioned, this one on the right is my old pack, uh, the 15 liter day pack. And the one on my left here is the new Ridgeline. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to review it, but I'll just show you quickly. Um, it's got a small pocket on the top here. This is the top of the pack, small pocket there, small pocket in the front. Um, and then the inside with a spot for a uh, hydration pack there and another pocket there. But anyway, we'll put that to one side. And we'll just empty this one for now. So, starting in the front pocket here, yeah, I have a compass for just in case. I generally use my phone as a GPS and mapping software. Um, but it's always handy to carry a compass in case phone dies, whatever else. Lose it, drop it in the water. Uh, what else have I got in here? Got a small pocket knife, small Gerber. I don't use it much because I don't like the serrated edge, but it was a gift. So I carry it with me just in case. Um, that's a small knife sharpener, the Sharpil. It's got the two sharpening blades. It also has a little diamond edge there. Um, it's got a fire starter in it, which is that one, a flint, and an emergency whistle. It's light, and it's uh, it's nice to have when you're field dressing an animal and you need to just sharpen your knife a little bit. And what else? Yep, two game callers, Samba caller, fox whistle. Um, and that's just a little lens cloth. Obviously when I'm out, I carry the cameras. And that's just to keep the camera lenses clean. In the front pocket, um, most importantly, toilet paper. It's always good to have for those emergencies out in the bush. Hunting license, waterproof, bow tool. Obviously, if you've got a rifle, you don't need that. Paracord um, for tying game bags closed or stringing up a leg or whatever. Hunting knife. This is the one I use the most. A little Mueller. It's a great little knife. Um, you can carry it on your belt. I prefer not to because I don't like it getting caught on everything. So I just carry it in the bag. Tissues. I think that's everything in there. Oh, no. There's a little uh, a multi-tool. I forgot that was in there. I don't always carry that. I um, sometimes put that in my pocket on my um, cargo pants. It was also a gift. A little Leatherman. On the outside, I also carry my bivy stick. Um, take that off there. My ACR bivy stick. Um, I've done a review of this on the channel. If you want to have a look, just click up on the top right. There's a link right now, or I'll link it in the description as well. If you're on your phone and you can't click the link or watching it on TV, um, it's a GPS tracker, um, PLB, bottle of water. Um, I do have a hydro pack. I don't always use it. Uh, I don't like the taste that it gives in the mouth. But obviously if you need more water than just that, then it's handy. Some tape. Um, I'm an old man. I get sore joints, so I like to tape them up. Game bags. I just use pillowcases. I bought these from the local op shop. They were 50 cents each. If you don't want them, if you don't want to wash them, your wife won't let you put them in the washing machine. You can just throw them away afterwards at 50 cents each. Spare power bank for the phone, for the GPS for the camera. Uh, Two-way radio, always good for emergencies or if you're hunting with somebody else. 
then you can contact them um, or they can contact you if you shoot something you need somebody to help you carry out or get lost head torch for early mornings or late afternoon hunts when you're walking in or out in the dark uh, this is an olight it's a great little head torch it's got it, yeah it's charged got different brightness on off um, it's got a red light as well batteries last uh, i don't know four or five hours and then needs recharging live straw yeah not a, not exactly necessary for the time that i'm out but obviously <laughs> If you run out of water and you're lost and you need water, then the life straw is going to save you. And it weighs nothing. Electrical tape. Um, yep, you can use it for tracking wounded animals, marking your spot where you are. You can use it for tying closed your game bags. Um, yep. If you're wounded, you know, if you cut yourself and you don't have any band-aids or anything, you can use that. Great for stopping bleeding. And speaking of... First aid kit, um, these are great, they're sealed. You buy them like that from Anaconda or BCF, they're about 30 bucks. Um, it's got bandages, uh, gauze pads, trauma pads, first aid tape, insect relief pad, it's got gloves, um, then it's also got a thermal blanket, poncho, whistle, it's got a fire striker in it actually, safety pins. Always good to have. Always good to have a first aid kit. Uh, just some more tape. Um, and in there I've got a dry bag. And I've got some snacks. Um, obviously I carry a bit more than that, but that's what's in there from the last hunt. And then on the outside I have my camera mount. And that's just my release for my bow. Like I said before, it's only for um, half day hunts really, not even day hunts. Um, because it's generally from a vehicle or from a camp so I don't carry food or cooking utensils or anything like that with me so I don't need much if there's anything that you think I've missed chuck it in the comments one thing that I did forget to mention because it wasn't in my old backpack but it's definitely going in the new backpack is a snake bite bandage you definitely need to carry a snake bite bandage if you're in the bush hunting in Australia. It can save your life. And we'll see what else I need to carry or if I'm carrying anything that I don't need. Always happy to make the backpack lighter. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more of the same. Thanks for watching to the end. See ya.